I want to welcome in Adam Epstein. You know him as AWOD from 106.7 The Fan. What's up? Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. I'm yeah. glad. After a huge win, too. It's I know. This is, this is an exciting time. Back-to-back -back wins as well. Yep. And they beat the Cowboys. I don't know. we got to have you on these kind of Mondays. You also are the host of a podcast. Tell us a little bit about yes. your podcast. So it's called Play to Win, uh, P2W Radio on Twitter. And we just cover everything D.C. sports and entertainment. I've had uh, artists on, like bar owners, and then also, you know, local athletes and celebrities. Fun. So some nice Washington, D.C. flavor. Oh, yeah, yeah. There. D.C. sports all day. Okay, love it. What are your immediate takeaways from this defense? Uh, I think the defense is elite, except for like two guys. We got Monte Nicholson and, and then Stroman got burnt deep. But besides that, everyone else looks spectacular. You got to give credit to the guys on the line. Kevin, don't overreact. I mean, Richardson's going to come back in a few weeks. Crowder will be back. We saw so. Doxon make a few plays. This wide receiver core is, is getting killed, but they're not that bad. Alex Smith just needs to throw it to them more Right often. now, they rank 27th in the NFL. So, yeah, yeah that's not good considering there's 32 No, teams. no. <laughs> more often than not, he's missing open wide receivers. What is your take, Awad? My take is the team is 4-2, and two, all right? And the team has done good enough together to be 4-2. and two. Alex Smith hasn't been great, but he hasn't had the turnover gene that ha haunted Kirk Cousins. He's gotten the ball to the guys. Look, a key third down, third and eight, he hit Capri Bibbs to extend that drive. Yeah, he missed uh, a few guys in the end zone and some things, but we're four and two. Let's ha let's be happy. Let's celebrate. Okay. Fans are also pointing the finger at Jay Gruden. What are you What are you hearing? Yeah, I mean it's because that final drive we needed one first down. They did a run, lost a yard, another run, and then Alex Smith rolled out and it, he made a dumb mistake and didn't go out of bounds. So the clocks, or he did go out of bounds, so the clock stopped. And it gave the Dallas Cowboys a chance. And this is back-to-back -back games because the Panthers then had a chance. Mm -hmm. And so people are looking at Gruden and saying, hey, stop being so conservative and maybe throw it a little more on first down so that we can extend drives at the end of game and not have to give the ball back. But you got to give our defense credit. Yeah. They were called upon. Th the and defense has carried this team, and it's it's interesting how that has changed over the past few years. Right, right and now. this is you know a first the first time Alex Smith with Jay Gruden. We're only six games into the season. They're starting to work together more and understand each other's strengths and weaknesses. Give it time. We're four and two. We're in first place. I don't think it's fair at this point, but uh, I get the criticism for sure. You know what it is, Aaron? It's Redskins fans watching that game and seeing us at the one yard line and having to settle for a field goal. I agree. It hurts you to the core. In the two near heart attacks, like the Panthers game <laughs> right. shouldn't have gotten to be what it was, like back-to-back -back weeks where it's like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Thanks to that field goal post. <laughs> Doink. <laughs> He's in first place. Adrian Peterson's playing lights out, so keep feeding him the rock. Every time, keep giving him the ball. And then, like I said, if it's third and short, Alex Smith gets it. When it's third and long, that's a terrible situation for any quarterback. Mm -hmm. Dwight Howard, he's been injured. What has your assessment of this 0-2 Wizards team been? It's been a tough start. It's not good to start the season 0-2, especially after you lose to the Raptors without Kawhi, mm -hmm. you know, the guy that they bring in to take DeMar DeRozan's place. Uh, but, you know, the, it came down to the final play in the first game. They didn't get the rebound against the Heat. They've been going with this lineup of Jeff Green at the 4 and Markeith Morris at the 5, which I like except for when they get out rebounded so there there's got to be some balance there maybe Scott Brooks can switch it up with Jan Mahimi and then get Dwight back and then you've got a whole new starting five. I mean this whole Dwight Howard injury to his piriformis it's very disappointing I mean this is what he's one of the best rebounders in the league obviously and the fact that He's not available, and he was supposed to be the big signing, right. the new new big man for the team, the new answer. I mean, it's – I don't know what he did. Apparently, I heard, and I don't know if this is true, um, that he did some kind of workout that maybe the team didn't know about. And so, I mean, there's, there's all kinds of rumors as to what is going on with Dwight right now, but kind of disappointing. Well, he's got like a pain in his butt or his lower back. <laughs> it's a pain in my butt watching the Wizards without Dwight Howard. <laughs> it's a Hopefully, pain in the butt for everyone. Right, let's get a win tonight. All right. The thing with AP for me is just like my whole career here watching the Redskins, Clinton Portis was the best guy we had, but like Adrian Peterson's on another level. Yeah. He's beast mode. He can't be tackled. He's running through arms. Incredible stuff. All right, Awad, you were incredible. Thank you so much to all of our callers. <laughs>
And tell them where they can check out your podcast real quick. At P2W Radio on Twitter and search Play to Win on iTunes.